morning everybody. Uh, welcome to morning prayer in the benefits of Long Ashton, Barragurney and Flaxbourton. Today is the 18th Sunday after Trinity and uh, we'll be following the normal common worship order for morning prayer on Sunday. And we begin with the acclamation of Christ at the dawning of the day. So a moment's silence. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Visit us with your salvation, and sustain us with your gracious spirit. O come, let us sing to the Lord, let us heartily rejoice in the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving, and be glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. Come, let us worship and bow down and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Visit us with your salvation and sustain us with your gracious spirit. Let us pray. Blessed are you, creator of all. To you be praise and glory forever. As your dawn renews the face of the earth, bringing light and life to all creation, may we rejoice in this day you have made. As we wake refreshed from the depths of sleep, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Psalm this morning is Psalm number 138. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with my whole heart. Before the gods will I sing praise to you. I will bow down towards your holy temple and praise your name because of your love and faithfulness. For you have glorified your name and your word above all things. In the day that I called to you, you answered me. You put new strength in my soul. All the kings of the earth shall praise you, O Lord. For they have heard the words of your mouth. They shall sing of the ways of the Lord that great is the glory of the Lord. Though the Lord be high, he watches over the lowly. As for the proud, he regards them from afar. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you will preserve me. You will stretch forth your hand against the fury of my enemies. Your right hand will save me. The Lord shall make good his purpose for me. Your loving kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our first reading today is from the prophecy of Isaiah, chapter 50, uh, beginning at verse 4. The Sovereign Lord has given me an instructed tongue to know the word that sustains the weary. He wakens me morning by morning, wakens my ear to listen like one being taught. The Sovereign Lord has opened my ears, and I have not been rebellious. I have not drawn back. 
I offered my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who pulled out my beard. I did not hide my face from mocking and spitting. Because the Sovereign Lord helps me, I will not be disgraced. Therefore have I set my face like flint, and I know I will not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who then will bring charges against me? Let us face each other. Who is my accuser? Let him confront me. It is the Sovereign Lord who helps me. Who is he who will condemn me? They will all wear out like a garment. The moths will eat them up. Who among you fears the Lord and obeys the word of his servant? Let him who walks in the dark, who has no light, trust in the name of the Lord and rely on his God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Old Testament canticle is a song of David. Splendour and majesty are yours, O God. You are exalted as head over all. Blessed are you, God of Israel, for ever and ever. For yours is the greatness, the power, the glory, the splendour and the majesty. Everything in heaven and on earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O Lord, and you are exalted as head over all. Riches and honour come from you, and you rule over all. In your hand are power and might. Yours it is to give power and strength to all. And now we give you thanks, our God, and praise your glorious name. For all things come from you, and of your own have we given you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Splendour and majesty are yours, O God. You are exalted as head over all. The New Testament reading is from St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 13, beginning at verse 22. Then Jesus went through the towns and villages, teaching as he made his way to Jerusalem. Someone asked him, Lord, are only a few people going to be saved? He said to them, make every effort to enter through the narrow door because many, I tell you, will try to enter and will not be able to. Once the owner of the house gets up and closes the door, you will stand outside knocking and pleading, Sir, open the door for us. But he will answer, I don't know you or where you come from. Then you will say, we ate and drank with you and you taught in our streets. But he will reply, I don't know you or where you come from. Away from me, all you evildoers. There will be weeping there and gnashing of teeth when you see Abraham, Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, but you yourselves thrown out. People will come from east and west and north and south and will take their places at the feast in the kingdom of God. Indeed, there are those who are last who will be first, and first who will be last. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Benedictus. You have raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of your servant David. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, 
born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. You have raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of your servant David. So in the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, we bring our prayers before our Heavenly Father. Gracious God, creator of all things, we give you thanks for the gift of this day, for rousing us from sleep, for bringing light from darkness, order from chaos, even life from death. Good Lord, we know that all things come from you. And so as we receive the gift of this day, so help us to offer it back to you, to give you of your own, to commit this day in your service, in the service of your church and your kingdom. Cover the work of our hands, O Lord, this day. Direct the steps of our feet. Inspire the thoughts of our mind and shape the desires of our hearts for the kingdom of your Son. May each encounter of this day be inhabited by your Holy Spirit, prompting us to see you at work in those we meet and allowing others to see your life-giving, love-giving presence in us, shining through the cracks in the flawed vessels of our mortal lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father God, your prophet Isaiah spoke of the unfailing truth of your word. He prayed to speak with an instructed tongue. He committed to speak truth and wisdom in the face of adversity and challenge and insult. Help us who confess the name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, to hold fast to the truth of your word and to seek every opportunity to proclaim it. Pray for the churches of this benefice, for the people of God, the body of Christ in these places, in Long Ashton, Barragurney, Flaxborton. May we each, in the places you have set us and called us, seek to be light and truth 
to those we meet, in what we say, what we do, in the choices we make and the causes we promote. We pray for all those who lead the church and especially at this time for our Bishop Peter. We thank you for his faith and trust throughout his gruelling treatment. We pray that you would continue to sustain him and return him to health. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father God, your Son, Jesus Christ, spoke of a narrow door, of a time of judgment. Help us who confess him as Lord and Saviour, not to be afraid of your merciful judgment but to regard it with due respect and awe, seeking each day to know you better, to walk with you more closely, to be ever more obedient to your will and so to further your purposes for this world. May we as people of faith not seek only to be present in the right places or to say the right words, but truly to seek to know you, you who are life and salvation for the world, and to share you with others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious Father, we pray for all those we know who carry heavy burdens at this time. Burdens that are not unknown to you. Burdens which you share with us. Burdens for which you sent your only Son to earth to live among us, to die for us, to rise again for us, in order that we may be liberated, strengthened, comforted in the burdens we bear. We pray for those who grieve, and especially at this time, we hold before you the Connolly family as they mourn both Betty and Sophie. We hold before you those who love Doreen Silcox, praying especially for Pat and Jeanette and Brian. Pray for all those who mourn the loss of George and Joyce Jonathan. We pray for those who suffer in body, mind or spirit. And we name before God those whom we carry on our hearts. And finally, good Lord, we pray for those who have no one to pray for them, but whose lives are known to you, 
who are dear to you, whom you long to comfort and draw to yourself. May they know that comfort and turn to you in their distress. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We conclude our prayers with the collect for the 18th Sunday after Trinity. Almighty and everlasting God, increase in us your gift of faith, that forsaking what lies behind and reaching out to that which is before, we may run the way of your commandments and win the crown of everlasting joy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>